I've got this idea for anybody who wants to really get a clear understanding of the opportunity that eXp Realty presents. Maybe I thought, well, let's do an interview challenge. You see the problem or why there's so much confusion about eXp is that I think a lot of agents wouldn't even think to ask for the things that eXp gives to their agents, mostly because nobody else can ever offer what eXp offers. Bold statement, right? I know. But hang on to the end to get the full story. Stick with me to the end because you need to see the full story, okay? Thank you for joining me today. You probably clicked on this video because you've heard about the eXp Real Estate Company. And it's being talked about a lot. Like, and maybe you're interested in joining eXp and, and maybe you're comparing brokerages right now. Maybe you feel like you might need a change. Maybe you're super happy or satisfied with the brokerage you're at right now but simply just kind of want to find out what all the hubbub is about, right? You know, I got to tell you, I actually relate to you the most because to be honest, when I was first introduced to this new concept, I was super happy with the last brokerage that I was part of. Actually, I was part owner of that brokerage. So it was very difficult for me and it was a very difficult decision for Nicole and I to make the ship. I, and the other thing is I really cared about everyone there. And I probably would still be there if it wasn't for the opportunity that was presented to me by my friend and sponsor, Randy. And it actually took my wife and I over a year to make the decision to switch, over a year. And believe it or not, I found out later, this is actually pretty normal, apparently, from meeting people in various functions and, and in some of the conversations that I've had that we're not the only ones that took a bit of time to make the move. So. We're going to be one of those people that are echoing the phrase, I wish I hadn't waited a year. The truth is it actually cost me a lot of money taking a year to make the switch. So you're going to hear that story a lot if you ever talk to more people about it. And you may hear a lot of stories that explain how someone was approached initially by someone about the new EXP company opportunity and they kind of blew it off at first and then something happened or they, they just decided to pay attention for a moment and then once they saw the opportunity and really understood what the benefits and, and, the, and the true opportunities are, the, the, that paradigm shift happened. Because there's a saying that I've also heard a lot. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. So the next thing you know, just like me, they're kicking themselves that they didn't make the switch sooner. So now I think part of the problem though, and, and part of the problem for me is that I, it was a little confusing to me and I didn't want to get caught up in the hype. I saw the opportunity and it did look exciting, but I didn't want to be fooled into making a decision, a quick decision, and I didn't want to make the change unless it was absolutely right for me and right for my family. And that was kind of stressful, to be honest. And many times I resigned myself to just staying where I was because it was easier and more comfortable. And I was happy there. I, didn't, I wasn't really motivated to move. It wasn't until I associated more pain to missing out on the amazing opportunities that eXp provides than the pain of leaving the brokerage that the shift actually happened for me. So I'm going to explain the multiple opportunities to you, but I'm also going to present the material in a bit of a different way to really give you perspective. So stay to the end, please stay to the end of the video because that's where it gets super interesting and might at least give you enough information to make a proper decision. Or at the very least, when the video is finished, you'll have, more, you'll have a more complete grasp of what eXp is all about. I've watched many videos that talk about explaining eXp and there's a lot of good information out there for sure, like really well done videos, but I wanted to give you a different spin on it and, and maybe you will relate to some of the thoughts I have and, and I've worked pretty hard to take all of the info that's out there and then distill it down, distill the information down for you to help you get a clear understanding about eXp because it should be clear from maybe a, a bit of a different perspective to, to help you gain more clarity. And I find that when there's confusion, there's no decision, right? Do you agree with that? Where there's clarity, it's easier to say no to an opportunity. And it's also easier to say yes confidently if that's the right decision for you. But be careful because not making any kind of decision is, it's actually worse because you stay in this limbo state of uncertainty. So whatever the reason is to say no, that's all good. Make sure it's a good reason though, that's about your future and about maybe 
the fact that you have another plan that's better, that's going to economically help you in some other way that eXp can't provide. So does that make sense? Is that fair? A good reason. Okay, not something like, well, my friends are all here and I like them. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, there is not a friend in your office right now who's going to give you money to support your family or reward you when you succeed. They're not. They're not going to do it. When you go through tough times, they're not going to help out your family. And they're not going to bring groceries over. and They're not going to feed you ambient income for the rest of your life or take care of your retirement. Not one of them. Oh, and by the way, they're your competition. And if they're true friends, they can be friends in another office too. They may join you one day and that could be awesome. So if your office has a nice Pinteresty decor and you love it so much, that's not a good reason. Okay, change is, change is a pain in the butt. I get it. But sorry, not a good reason. It's not a good reason to say no. Fear, however, that's okay. We can deal with fear. Being scared is okay. That's your instincts protecting you from harm. It's okay to be scared. I was scared too. And that's why I made this video to help give you some clarity. Fear of the unknown is, is real. So I promise to do my best to make this as simple as possible for you to help you come to that place. And then if, and, it, and then if you have the will and, and you get, ex and the excitement kicks in, the fear will subside. Okay. So first off, I'm just going to make this statement. I think eXp is actually for everyone, but it's actually not for everyone. I don't know how to say that any different, but not everyone's going to see it the same way. But the real estate agent with, with the entrepreneurial mindset will thrive in eXp. This model is designed for the entrepreneur to thrive. And the truth is eXp satisfies all facets of what a realtor needs to be successful in real estate. Everything's there. Each real estate agent has different needs. It's true. And that's why it's important to interview many offices when you're making a career altering decision, right? We're all different people from different backgrounds, different levels of experience and, and different places in our success journey. So as we move along our path, our needs change. And I think that this is really true. But what I love about eXp is that all factors are considered. And there is a benefit or a facet or a training or a tool for everyone, no matter where they're at in their journey. And they're continually adding more and more reasons to be part of the company. Now, I bet if you created your own wish list, not knowing anything about eXp, that you may not even think of some of the things, some of the benefits to even ask for, to even propose. In fact, even asking a regular brokerage to provide these benefits almost sounds ludicrous because no other agents have ever thought to ask for these things until eXp came along. But to illustrate this point, let's pretend that I'm interviewing real estate offices and let's say that they want me really bad. I'm a superstar and they want to get me in their office and they have asked me to tell them the terms that I want. So let's see if they could provide what I want. I'll go through it like that. And then I'll give you some information on eXp and how it was created and give you a little history on that. Okay, so, but we're going to do this first, okay? Stay to the end. Oh, and please, if you like the video and want to get alerted when I produce more videos, hit the like button, leave a comment, hit the bell to get alerted, and subscribe. Okay, now we're going to get into it, okay? Here we go. Well, welcome to our office. As you can see, we strive for excellence here and we have outstanding agents achieving outstanding results. You might have noticed that we have enjoyed a long history of helping agents succeed in the real estate business. We are a recognizable brand, so that's going to help you win business for certain. Ah, oh, well, okay. Well, thanks. Um, thanks for meeting me today. Uh, okay, well, let's get started. I have uh, a list of things I've prepared for the meeting to talk about. Um, well, four things really. So let's start the, uh, let's start with the compensation plan. How about, um, an 80, 20 split and I cap once you receive $16,000 from the split. Then after that, I'll be on a hundred percent with the possibility of making more than a hundred percent of my commission. If I help the company make more money, once I hit my cap of 16 K, I will pay a deal fee of $285 until I pay you another 5,700. Once I do that, I want to be recognized for my production, 
get my $16,000 back in shares in the company. And then at that point, pay $75 per deal until my year is up. And, and then I just start over again. Uh, I, I might be able to agree to the split arrangement that you propose, but let's back up a bit here. <laughs> you want that money back in, in, in shares in my company. Well, the company, actually. Yes, but I, I don't want any of the liability that an owner carries. Does that make sense? Uh, <laughs> okay, wait, okay, wait a minute. You want to be a shareholder, like be a part owner of the company without sharing in any of the debt or the other, other kind, of th- kind of things that I have to deal with. Yes, I, I want some shares when I do my first deal each year as well. So as soon as I do some production, I become a part owner. And also, I would like to be able to have the option to give you back 5% of my commission to buy shares in the company at a 10% discount. That way I can buy shares at a better price than the rest of the population. Does that sound okay? Uh, <laughs> um, okay, uh, I'm not really sure we're set up for that. Uh, that doesn't seem to be sustainable for us, really. I mean, imagine imagine if we did that for everyone that joined the company. I can tell you, we wouldn't be in business very long. <laughs> oh, um, okay, well, think it over. Oh, yeah, and also, if I bring on a new agent to the company, I want a reward for, for that as well. I'd like a share reward for that when they do their first deal. And when they complete transactions, I would like to get paid a small percentage from the money that they pay to you, and let's call that profit share. Okay, all right. Well, here's the thing. I don't know how I can possibly agree to that. I paid a large upfront franchise fee to get my territory. We have a lot of things to pay for. The building lease, the electricity, the heating, the big parking lot and all the offices, the janitors and supplies, the coffee area, the boardroom. The staff in the office and the conveyance department, the photocopies, phone systems, paper and envelopes and paper clips and staples. Do you know how many staples, paper clips I go through? I need a salary. I have to make a profit. Plus, I spent a lot of money on renovations to make this office look nice for agents to come and work. You must understand, I am only the owner of the company that runs this brokerage in this territory. So it would be almost impossible for me to give you shares. I'm just a franchisee. But if you, if it were to happen, I would need some investment from you to get some of my money back from you to, to be a partner with me. That's only fair. Then you'd need to share in the expenses of the company too. And, and, and if things get tough, you may have to come up with some money. I mean, if you're a true partner with me, that's how I see it working. Oh, um, I think you misunderstood. I want shares in the corporation. You're gonna to have to talk to the founder about this. I wanna share in the success of every part of the company and all of the companies and partnerships that the Umbrella Corporation owns and, and is part of. Oh, and all the agents that become part of my team, we're gonna get that same arrangement too because I'm gonna bring on more people to the brokerage because I wanna help you grow because it's a benefit to me as well now because I'm part owner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know if you're living in some sort of fantasy world. I mean, you mean that you, you that I would have to do this with everyone who joins the company that you bring in, that you bring on in this area? Well, yes. I mean, I don't want it to be just a special deal for me. I mean, everyone should be on a level playing field, right? Okay, next. There's more. There's there's more. Lead generation, yeah, marketing platform, website, and CRM program. I'd like a program that does it all. Does it all. Does all, does all that. Lead generation, marketing, give you a website, and be your uh, client retention management program. Yeah, I know a lot of agents have to pay for their own lead generation or personal websites or client management software, but I think that you should include that for me. After all... You should be investing in the success of the agents. And for my 20%, I think it would make sense that you want me to run my business properly. But here's the thing. I want to own all my leads and and you won't ever get access to my database. I want that CRM to integrate into a website 
that has an IDX that pulls listings from all over the nation and I want it to work in concert with my online social media marketing, creating squeeze pages and lead capture ads and stuff like that. I want a program that integrates a follow-up campaign sequence and keeps all of my current database and my new leads warm. It's got to be easy. And the training for the program has to be at my fingertips all the time. And I know that this would normally cost $600 to $1,000 per month and, or whatever, but I think it's fair. This platform is going to be the lifeblood of my business. Are you okay with that? <laughs> okay, uh, I have to think that over. I mean, I think if we're paying for the program that we should own the database, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, just in case you switch brokerages, right? Well, I'm going to have shares in the company. I'm going to be part owner. So why would I ever leave, right? Okay, next. Um, so where are all your offices? Well, like I said before, I have this one office, this office. Do you mean how many offices are in the country, in the, in, in the franchise? Well, let me tell you, we have offices in multiple countries and... Okay, okay, but if I'm licensed with your brokerage, how does that benefit me? You having... Well, you can have a referral network at your fingertips. Besides, the brand speaks for itself. Having a lot of offices shows that the company is successful. That's what you want. Well, uh, well, I want to be able to recruit and work with helping agents succeed everywhere, everywhere that I can. I also want to be able to build a team all over so that we can send referrals to each other and we can all benefit from our production. I don't want to be confined to this community here in only this specific office. I mean, can we work with other agents in the franchise then since it's so big and, 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 and there's offices everywhere? Well, I mean, you can send referrals, but you can't be on the same team. <laughs> Those are different brokerages, right? You can only build a team within the brokerage of this community. Your licensing requires you to be licensed with only one brokerage. However, you can get licensed in other states, but you need to be able to service those areas well. But keep in mind, you'd have to pay separate brokerage fees and licensing fees for those areas in addition to this office. And who knows if they could agree to your terms that you're presenting to me right now. <laughs> Oh, uh, hmm. Okay, so it doesn't really matter how many offices are out there then. I mean, I guess it's all right for sending referrals, but I guess in truth, I could just send referrals to anyone in any other company to get my 25%. I mean, there's no real benefit to be specific to agents of this franchise, right? Huh, interesting. Oh, okay, well, let's move on. <clears throat> now, let's talk about training. Do you have onboarding training, training in on the new programs, training on the CRM, training on marketing, utilizing the tools that are provided, training from other experienced agents in the organization? Yes, well, yeah, well, well, sort of, yes, I, I think so. Well, do you have a trainer in the office that helps the new agents get started? Yes, I do, I do the training, that's me. Oh, okay, um, do you still work as an active agent? No, I haven't helped buyers or sellers for over five years now. <laughs> no, I just, I just do, you know, I own the office and I, I bring on the new people, you know. Okay, interesting. Do any of your successful agents do training in the office? No, I mean, <laughs> I mean, they're, they're way too busy for that. I mean, I don't want to bother them. Plus, these guys are all competitors. They don't always feel good about giving away their secrets. And they have no financial gain for doing so, really, other than just helping me out, right? Some people are okay with helping out the new people, and I've, you know, I have a mentoring program, uh, but you know, they're pretty busy. That's why they're successful, right? I can't just focus on the struggling new guys. I actually try to attract experienced agents, so I actually don't have to waste time on that. Oh, okay. So you kind of have to look outside the office for training, then. So not really any kind of formal training at all, but. But you know, if people want training, there's lots of ways to get it, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the way it is. I mean, sometimes an agent's gonna, you know, they'll come and do a lunch and learn and talk about some stuff or I'll bring in a trainer who's maybe selling their event or their coaching program. Some people attend the meetings, some take advantage of it, some don't, some can't afford it. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. Okay, well, uh, thank you very much. When do you think that you're gonna get back to me on, on all of my um, uh, requests here? Well, I mean, come on. Let's be honest here. I don't think I, do, I can agree to most of your terms. Just about 
all of them really that, that you that you proposed here I I, I just can't make it work. I'm not sure you're going to find what you're looking for. It seems impossible. I mean, honestly, if there's something out there like what you're describing, I might sell off my company and join that office, really, if you can find it. <laughs> I mean, it just, seems, it just seems too good to be true. I mean, part ownership, expanding your team all over the nation and then into other countries, free training from agents who are successful and experienced on an ongoing basis. I mean, come on. CRM programs that I pay for, but you control the leads. Come on, shares and profit share from other agents you bring into the company. I mean, it's just too much. It seems to me that you want to run a business within my business and you want me to provide everything for you so that you can't fail, but then not participate in any of the costs. I mean, how is this a good deal for me, right? I mean, you got to see this. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. You know, I... I, I guess that's what I'm looking for. That, that is what I am looking for. Exactly. Thank you. Have a great day. Oh, you're back. So, you see, when it's put in that perspective, there's not a brokerage on the planet that can compete with EXP on those items. You heard them. Talking about all of the infrastructure and expenses that it takes to run a brokerage. I used to be an owner of a brokerage and I lost my whole investment. After working as a volunteer for seven years, <laughs> I had to keep selling real estate to feed my family. I know how tough it is. And part of the challenge is that I was fighting for 20% of the market share in my marketplace. And it was a small market. There was only 314 agents. Well, out of those 314, there's only like 25 that I actually wanted to join my company. And, uh, you know, I had 40 already and I needed a minimum of 60 just to cash flow properly. I was competing with companies that were offering things like three to six months free to get people to switch over. They had no other value proposition, but people moved because they were hurting. Just offering free months to get people to leave my office. And that's what happens when you're confined geographically. So if you're a person who is a leader and has been thinking about owning an office one day, there's a lot to consider. I'd love to chat with you about that. You can do it. And you may be able to do better than me. Maybe, maybe you have a better business mind than me or you're in a better market, whatever. But here's the thing that you need to commit to knowing and, and doing immediately if you're gonna do it. 20 to 50 grand a month is gonna go up. That's your nut before you make a dime. Plus the up, upfront costs to start up and renovate and pay for the franchise fees, etc. Now, my sponsor, just to give you perspective, my sponsor, Randy, receives over 50K per month right now and it doesn't cost him a thing zero infrastructure costs and he has over 300 people in his organization he's got zero liability for any of them so who's the better businessman if it's about building a team and providing value to a group of people and then creating duplicate duplicatable income or multiple income streams stick with me i'll show you how that works the other aspect that's incredible with exp is that you is you can build a brand and that's perfectly okay you can do that because EXP is one brokerage for the whole world. There's many brands all over the world right now operating who are powered by EXP. And that's the most economical way to build a real estate business. And you can have an identity and a brand in your marketplace. The initial cost is $199. So it's like buying your own franchise that has all of the infrastructure in place already for $200. No infrastructure costs, no leases, very minimal, and you have no geographical boundaries. So if that's you, we need to be talking. Okay, all right, let's have let's do a brief history. So this is perfect segue because Glenn Sanford, our founder, felt the same way. It all started after the financial meltdown in, in 2008. So in 2009, he had an idea to revolutionize real estate because he felt the same pain. He wanted to expand. He wanted to scale. He wanted to be able to offer all the things that, that we have just been talking about. And he, he understood the restrictions though. He understood the challenges with that, the expenses, the costs of infrastructure. But he knew that there had to be a better way. He had four offices in four different markets and was about to open up his next one when the financial crash happened in 2008. And he shut down the other offices and he began to kind of build his plan. He got into an RV and began driving around the U.S., meeting up with other agents and talking to them about his ideas. One brokerage for the world. No franchises. Just empower the agents and see what happens. So fast forward to 2022, EXP is growing 
by a thousand to two thousand agents per month in 21 countries right now and his goal in five years is to have over 500,000 agents all over the world 500,000 shareholders in a company that has not only disrupted a hundred year old industry and billions of dollars of revenue but it also owns and operates other companies that are extremely profitable the valuation of exp on nasdaq right now is in the multi-billions and we're all shareholders in that is this a neat idea it, you know you think it might catch on it can't be stopped now because the momentum has now taken over it's genius because he reversed the model he literally turned it upside down because He's sharing the wealth. 50% of the gross revenues go back to the agents. Not the profit, like a couple other models out there where you're waiting to see if the accountant determines there's profit. The revenue before profits. It's an enormous difference. 50%, 50% right off the top, runs a company. 50% goes to the most valuable assets of the company. And that's the realtors, the shareholders. The most important asset of the company, he believes, is the realtors slash shareholders. And they get it in a form of stock and profit share. That's amazing stuff. The current way that real estate offices and companies work is a basic corporate structure, right? You got the founder, you got the territory, territory owners, then you got all the franchise owners, and, and, and they take all the responsibility, all the risk, all the costs, and they pay all the, you know, the big money, and they're hoping to realize a financial reward. And, and they have a company to run. Oh, and then there's the licensees down at the bottom that are part of the company in that community, the lifeblood of the whole organization. And what do the successful agents who promote the brand the most get? What do they get? Nothing. They might make a lot of money. That's great. And on January 1st, it starts all over again. But honestly, is the brand or the franchise making them all that money? No, it's them. It's their ambition, their creativity, their work ethic, their investment in the market and marketing themselves. They're out there hammering away and working their tail off. And the company is never responsible for your success. Never forget that. Like, never forget that. And then they get these plaques and rewards and recognition, legacy awards. And they get to walk across a stage at these big events and everybody claps for them. But honestly, it's a game. No financial recognition from the owner of the franchise or the founder. Nothing. They get nothing. But it's the way it's always been. It's worked for over 75 years. But things are about to change. And one thing in life that is totally consistent is that change will always happen. And the other thing that's totally consistent is that change is always feared. And there's always consistently resistance to change. So until enough people start to realize that this change is not going away, and maybe there's something to it, and then they look at it with more discernment. And I hope that's you today. Think about it. Just think about it for a second. Online shopping is normal now. People were resistant to that before. They buy clothes, stuff that they have to fit and wear. Everybody thought they had to try things on. People order clothes now online. But not very long ago, they didn't. Email, totally normal now for communication. It wasn't when I started in the business. When When's the last time you went to a movie store to go and rent a movie and grab a movie and then have to get it back in time by Thursday so you don't get the overcharge fee and all that. When's the last time you've done that? How many times do Amazon packages actually arrive at your home on a weekly basis? How normal is that in your life now? How many of you get groceries delivered now? How many of you still have a landline phone in your home? How many of you still do paper advertising for your listings? What do we say about paper advertising in the newspapers? Most expensive, least effective and impossible to measure, right? I used to use fax machines. I started in real estate with a beeper. My cell phone was attached to my car. Change happens. And we've had to embrace change in our industry anyway, while operating in an old model. So maybe it's time to embrace a new concept that is designed to support the most important part of the real estate industry. And you know what that is? The realtor, the real estate representative, the real estate agent, the real estate broker, whatever you call yourself, you. COVID taught us that office meetings in a boardroom that is too small to fit everyone is old school now. Having an office to drive to, it's not required anymore. And frankly, a waste of time. Working from home and putting deals together on a ski slope with a cell phone is possible now. So why do we pay for all these expensive things when we don't need them? The realtorpreneur is fully supported with no borders, no bricks and mortar. It's all virtual, so there's no limits. And we all get rewarded for helping each other succeed. All of the expensive and useless infrastructure is eliminated and what's left revenue to distribute to the people 
that fuel the company's growth. Is there anything more win-win than that? But you might be saying to yourself, well, I, I need to meet people easily and still have a connection with people. We have the EXP world that was created to access 600 paid employees that are there to help and also attend trainings, meetings, conferences from the comfort of your own home. You save the driving time, you save the airfare. And I thought this looked like a silly video game. <laughs> and then Facebook started talking about Meta and it's, and it's going in that direction. Verbella, which is the company that provides the infrastructure is owned by EXP, by the way. And they sell this concept to other companies other corporations out there, creating more profit to the shareholders because the world is now ready for this. So if you think it's weird, get used to it. The bottom line is that to get educated or attend meetings or attend the monthly shareholder meetings or team meetings or area meetings or even to get your computer fixed from a tech person can all be done within the world for free from your laptop with no travel costs. The price of gas is astronomical right now. Could this help? Uh, yeah, it could. But even so, they didn't stop there. EXP has made a deal with Facebook or Meta, and there's a robust EXP workplace chat thing that everyone logs into. It's like Facebook, but without all the ads and everything. There's a group for everything. There's chats with every other agents, EXP employees and managers and referral groups, teams, trainings, local agents in the area where you can get answers to questions fast, lightning fast. And sometimes there's challenges with getting answers to questions from managers easily and quickly, and it's extremely efficient within the EXP system. And you can do it from a cell phone or from your laptop, anywhere. So accessing managers, you have direct phone access to more than one manager normally, world access inside the world. I just mentioned workplace and email as well as through Skyslope. So remember the managers aren't having to spend time recruiting and interviewing agents, and they can be anywhere. You don't have to drive down to the office and wait in line or wait until her, he or she is free from the ambient got a sec people. Hey, you got a sec there, Bob? Got a sec there, Bob? Got a sec? How many people are doing that in the office? When managers are in the office, there's a lot of waste of time conversations going on. Honestly, it's true, but not at EXP. It's efficient. EXP is built for efficiency. Time is money. Okay, next, training. How about access to training on anything that you want to learn about and wait for it? How about for free? How about from the best in the business from all over the world? There's over 50 hours of training every single week that you can access about anything and everything. All you have to do is schedule it in and show up. It's all free and you don't have to drive there. The agents who achieve icon status, the best in the business, top 1% are providing training inside the world on a daily basis. And all you have to do is show up. It's as easy as turning on your computer. What about referrals? Here's a screen record of all the referrals being sent around every single day. I go in here all the time and it's just constant. Referrals are just happening all day. It's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this. We keep the money in the company because we're all shareholders. We want the company to win. We want to support each other. It's a no-brainer. Do you want weekly office meetings? Yep. Easy peasy. You can even show up in your sweatpants. I used to have to stop working and then drive down, go down to the office, attend the office meeting out of respect for everybody. I would have to stop working and sit there. And so I did it. But now I just put on my screen. I keep on working on what I need to get done. And, and I can still get all the information I need because time is money, right? But I still get the pertinent info that's current. And if, and if there's issues affecting our business in our local area, I stay updated. Do you want to build a team and create a strong personal brand? EXP is one brokerage company for everywhere. So you can build a personal brand with your own logos and colors and then powered by EXP. One brokerage for all agents allows you to make your mark in your marketplace without having to look like everyone else. What if you don't want to be a recruiter? That's okay. I just want to sell real estate, you say. Okay, perfect. You don't have to recruit to benefit more at EXP than any other brokerage. Only 1% to 2% of the agents in EXP actually recruit actively anyway. The benefits still far outweigh other companies anyway. You may want to begin to build a pretty successful business because you're going to be influenced by a lot of other successful people, right? And if you want to grow your team, you can, and it's easy to do so. And I'm going to tell you that when I built my teams in the past and other brokerages with junior agents, all I did at the end of the day was create my own competition. And I received no benefit after paying for all the costs, taking all the risk and everything. And once they're all trained up, they went on their own and sometimes moved to other companies. This is reality. This is normal. But what if you help people succeed 
in a cost-effective way, and when they succeed and grow their business, you all win together forever. And the money that benefits you financially from their success comes from the company. It doesn't come out of their pockets. Now that became super exciting to me personally because I, I've always wanted to help people and I never, I never really got a benefit for that. So what we did first year, I have not been recruiting at all. That's the truth. Not because I don't believe in the company and don't want to build a team, but I wanted to give it a year and do business volume that I normally do. And I had some projects I wanted to finish off so I could create more value for the people who come to join my team. So more on that in a bit. So we did that. And even while working on a whole other project, moving to EXP did not affect the real estate production in any way. We did 65 deals, over 45 million in production, and we capped and then received icon status. We received our shares and it's all true. The company is fantastic. The training is amazing. The staff that are all working in the background are phenomenal. Our profits were great. We have more value in share ownership in this company than we did in the last company that we were part owners of for five years. So think about it. In order to, to achieve that same investment that I earned in one year with EXP, I had to earn my commission income, save my after-tax money, and then I had to make a decision to take that money and put it into the bank account of the company that I was part of and I invested in. After-tax savings. But here at EXP, I get equity in the company from the, from the company for just doing what I do just doing deals. So for me, this actually was the top reason for me to join EXP. And I wasn't disappointed. I got to say, I've, I've been in other companies. And as a successful agent who people looked up to, I did a lot of lunch meetings with the new guys. I spent time with the new agents and tried to help them out and, and be uplifting for them. And I attracted a lot of agents to the company. And the only person that benefited from that effort was the owner of that company. And I guess the founders and the territory owners and all that. I always paid my bills on time. I did a lot of production. I had my signs everywhere, sometimes 30 to 50 signs out there in the community advertising for the company. All of our signs had to look exactly the same so that the brand was kept intact, right? You relate to that. I actually found that a little aggravating, to be honest, but I was a strong advocate for the company because the brand of the company was tied into me and it was so intertwined. But I really only got the benefit from my commission production that started over every January 1st. And that was it. And every year, I started from zero again, right? Once a year. And then once a year, there was a dinner or a breakfast that they paid for. And I received a plaque recognizing my production. Big deal. I've got a couple boxes of plaques and awards sitting in my basement right now. I've actually got a bunch sitting right there. But I never once got a check. Never was there any financial benefit. Yet... I was a strong advocate for their brand, and I actually helped amplify their brand, didn't I? I was free advertising for them. I recruited for them. The more I made the company look good, the more other people wanted to join the company. I'm just helping them by just being successful. I helped build their business. And here's the thing. I want to build my retirement for myself. And, and this time, I want to be sure that the effort I put out today has long-term financial positive effects for my retirement and for my family. And I don't want to be one of those agents who never retire. And if you want that, then consider joining our team. And this may seem hard to believe, but I want to help build your business and be a positive influence in your life. I mean that. And if I do that, I want to get the benefits of that to benefit my financial future, but I want it from the company. I don't want to try and get it out of you. But I only achieve that when I help you get what you want. You see how that works? There's nothing more win-win than that. So there's a reason that eXp will grow to the, be the biggest real estate company in the world. It's going there. It's almost there. But consider this. It took Remax 11 years to reach 5,000 agents. And they had an idea that revolutionized the industry at the time. The 100% thing. And they grew. And then Keller Williams came along and offered that kind of idea. But then they added another thing. And they added an idea of a little bit of ownership based on profit. And it took them 10 years to grow to 5,000 agents. Gene Frederick, who owned a bunch of Keller Williams franchises, over 900 agents in all, making pretty good money, sold them all. Moved over to EXP in 2015. He saw the bigger picture, and he's now one of the major shareholders in EXP. Think he made the right choice? He had more at stake to lose than anyone. More risk. Things were pretty comfy for him, wouldn't you say? But to put things in perspective, the next real estate industry interrupter, EXP, grew to 35,000 agents in their first 10 years. And now they're coming close to, well, no, actually they're over 80,000 agents. 
and that's why there's so much talk about EXP. You can't ignore it anymore. There's always criticism when a new way is introduced to an industry. The old models are, well, old now. The new way is here, and there's always resistance at first. We're getting past that now. It's time to embrace the opportunity and get on board. Remember, remember the taxi industry, how fired up they were against Uber? Remember Blockbuster? Remember they thought Netflix was a joke? What does the hotel industry think of Airbnb? What about Amazon? Amazon totally changed the game for retail, starting out as a company that sold books. Now, it's interesting, the CEO, Jeff Bezos, in speaking to his team about the Amazon Prime membership, he said these words, and I might not get it perfectly, but here's the gist. He said, I want to make it financially irresponsible for someone not to have an Amazon Prime membership. Well, I say that to you right now. I'm going to say that to you right now. If you're an ambitious, energetic, excited, hardworking real estate agent who wants to build a career in real estate for the long term, I actually believe this. I believe it is financially irresponsible to belong to any other brokerage or company if you want to do everything possible to set up your retirement and your financial future. Hey, real quick, give me two minutes. I forgot to talk about KV Core. You, th that could be one reason, like the reason that you would choose to join EXP, honestly. So watch this quick video. It'll give you a quick rundown, but this is what we were talking about in the interview. This program is included with your EXP fees. Hi, so this is KV Core right here. I'm in the, I'm, I'm basically in the program. So you could see uh, a bunch of names uh, from listings, people that have inquired on things, which is pretty amazing. They have a playbook area where you can literally, it, it, it pre-makes it for you. So you don't have to be a huge programmer type person. You could just click on this. Okay, I'm gonna open up this pl playbook and it's gonna give you different things that you could do to promote a listing. If you wanna gather your sphere, you wanna work your sphere, and these are the people that are in, in your system already. Um, there's the smart CR CRM area. Um, then there's all your listings are in here and how to promote them and all that kind of stuff. So that's all here. Um, marketing. So you get into the marketing area. Uh, voicemail drop. You can actually just drop a voicemail to people. Uh, the concierge program, smart campaigns, um, setting up so that you, you, know, you say happy birthday to people or their, their buying anniversary, which we've done. It's actually a phenomenal scenario to do that. Um, learning about hashtag management and how to connect things that way, uh, build a CMA, all that um, automation. Then you got lead engines where you can build uh, you can a virtual open house. You can do the property boost, which we do on all our listings. We get tons of leads from that. Um, you can work on getting leads that are specific. You can create landing pages and squeeze pages for marketing. So this is not only a client management system, it's also a marketing system. And then you also have your, your website. You got a whole website manager and you actually create a functional lead capture website that has all your listings on it. It'll have quick widgets um, to learn about financing, to learn about the open houses that are coming up, to get a uh, comparative market analysis, to do searching um, for specific properties, all that kind of stuff. So KV Core is super, super powerful, and I'm very happy that we have this program to offer our agents. All right, I'd love to read your comments, and I would welcome you to hit the link, learn more about how we can help agents on our team. Right now, I have a full training program and a book for you. If you wanna grow your team within our team, I won't leave you high and dry. I'm there for you to help grow and to help educate and nurture those agents. I already meet for coaching every single Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and you're always welcome. Every one of you that are watching this right now, if you're a real estate agent and you're licensed in North America, you are welcome. So just hit the link to get on the invite list and you'll get the weekly invite. I'm committed to help you train everyone so you can spend time making money, and if you want, growing your team. I have a 25 video online training program. My goal has been for the last three years to get a course together that covers everything and leaves nothing to chance. And I created it. And I'm just gonna give it to you if you're part of my team. I'll give you all the secrets of my success in an online video format for you to get your next 10 listings fast, turn those into 40 deals fast, utilizing what I call the 4X formula. And 
I teach that. I created this course. I put a lot of time, money, effort into this. But anybody who joins my team or people that join their team can get access to this for free anywhere. So wherever EXP is, we can be together. We're not bound geographically. Isn't that exciting? Hit the link below. Let's have a conversation. Let's do it.